Hey, what's up my friends? It's the next day and our silicone has cured. Now, I was a little bit worried because last night before bed, I tested the silicone and it was still gooey even after 12 hours of setting. Now researching this catalyst, I found out it takes about four times longer for it to set than the other catalysts we've used in the past, which made me a little nervous that they wouldn't be ready today. But checking them out now, they are very firm, very rubbery, and so I'm relatively confident that it's okay to cut them open and extract the brains. If not, I guess we're gonna find out what happens with uncured silicone. Now yesterday when we poured this silicone, we had a bit of an issue where the brains started rising. So we used these screws to hold them down. I used a little bit of duct tape just to hold the silicone in until it's set. And it looks like it did a pretty good job. So looking in here, you can actually see part of the brain still stuck to the bottom. That means our screw did its job. It held that brain in place. The cool thing about using containers like this for our mold is the edges are slightly tapered downward. So once we get the sides released, we should theoretically be able to turn it over and have it plop right down on the table. Yeah. Look what I have created. Brain molds. Huh. Kind of looks like a giant mochi. <laughs> So cool, our big silicone blocks are out of the molds. It looks like they're pretty firm, so I'm relatively confident we're gonna get a good brain mold today. So let's grab some paper towel and an X-Acto knife and set our minds free. Yeah. There we go, it's very nice. Oh, yummy, bits of brain stuck on there. Ha! Yeah. <laughs> I think some of that flew in my mouth. So I've spent a good deal of time cutting this thing now. I've made five different incisions where we can peel this all away. At this point, I think we may be able to reach down and pull that sucker out. Ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. Mostly recovered. It looks like uh, this little piece at the back here got chopped off. That's still inside, which means we need to cut those little strands that are holding it back because when we cast anything else, it's gonna follow the same pattern and we don't want our chocolate or our gummies to be breaking. Yeah. Let's see if I can piece this thing back together. It's like a puzzle. It's like a brain teaser. This is your brain. This is your brain on silicone. My eyes are watering. My nose is burning. I think that's the formaldehyde bleeding through. Okay, this is where it gets a little nasty. <laughs> we can look down inside and look at that. It was pretty hard work. I can tell that because I'm sweating. Oh yeah, it's getting a lot easier now. We're almost there. The end is in sight. Oh man, that is slightly disturbing. <laughs> you know what this thing kind of reminds me of are those old Ninja Turtle cartoons. Remember that character Krang, who's like a little pink brain? That looks a lot like Krang, I think. That's a little disturbing. Ew, brains. So there we did it, guys. We successfully got our brain out. We got a cool rubber silicone mold. The only problem with it is if you look on the inside, it's got all these disgusting gooey bits of brain and blood vessels stuck to the inside. And it also smells bad too. So I got a big bucket of dish soap and bleach. We're gonna scrub these things and let them soak for about an hour or two. And while we're waiting, we're gonna answer a comment request from Andy Varcho. Andy asks, what would happen to a brain in a vacuum chamber? Would you be able to get a cow's brain? Well, not only can we, Andy, we actually did. These are genuine, real cow brains. And we're gonna put them inside this vacuum chamber for you right now. I just noticed this is the brain that was floating up in the silicone and I pressed it back down with my finger and you can actually see the finger marks, the indentations in the brain from the pressure I had to put on it. I was hoping that would reinflate, but apparently it doesn't. So Andy, we were doing this for you. We got our brain set in the vacuum chamber. All we have to do now is switch on the pump and see if anything happens. Here we go. I don't really see anything happening. Okay, let's exhaust it and see if anything happens. Watching the brain in three, two, one. Oh, actually it did deflate a little bit. Oh, that was surprising. Let's try it again, watch this. All right, that's at full pressure. Let's let the air back in. In three, two. Yeah, and you can see it shrink down a little bit. It's not anything super impressive, but it is something. Yep, very, very minimal. So I'm glad we didn't spend a whole lot of time on that. But don't worry, Andy, I'm still sending you 25 bucks because it was a worthy experiment and you never really know unless you try. So now we know. So brain in a vacuum chamber doesn't really do much and I don't have much other use for these brains. So I think I'm just gonna take my finger and stick it down inside to see what kind of experience I can glean from that. Now I'm just running my fingers over the top of the brain, which I haven't done yet because I didn't wanna disrupt this for the silicone mold. And it kinda just feels like uh, chicken, actually. It feels like bumpy chicken. But you can see, now that it doesn't have that top membrane on, we can actually pull these crevices apart. And amazingly, the silicone didn't leak down inside. So it must have been relatively tight. Now, if I get down inside one of these crevices here, 
push down inside. It's kind of firm. It's kind of like pushing a finger through a piece of rubber. It's starting to give way and I'm out the other side, right there. All right. Well, that was interesting. Now we can just break this away and see what the interior looks like. It kind of looks like a mushroom. I mean, I like mushrooms, and I hope uh, this doesn't gross anyone else out who does, but look at that cross section. That looks a lot like a mushroom. And surprisingly, the texture is very much like a mushroom as well. Wow, it makes me wonder how smart mushrooms must be. What I've always wanted to do is take one of these brains and just split it in half. This is what it looks like. How interesting. How much does it take to break it? Not much, okay. So this is kind of like one giant mushroom. That's what it feels like. It's got the sponginess of a mushroom stem. The top parts here feel a lot like a mushroom and it's even kind of slimy. Okay, so this brain is destroyed. I feel like we've learned a lot. I'm just gonna take this and squish it just because we can. Oh goodness, it's like Play-Doh. It doesn't stick like Play-Doh, but it squishes like Play-Doh. Look at that. Oh, wow. Huh. That is really interesting. There's just nothing left. You just squish it, and it just completely pulverizes. Look at that. It's kind of disturbing, isn't it? Wow. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get grossed out now. I think I'm done playing with brains. That was enough. That was fun, very educational, but I am done. And I need to change my gloves. So here we are guys, I feel like we learned a lot about the brain today. And not only that, we have some cool rubber molds that I'm gonna let soak in bleach overnight and then make sure they're completely clean because I have a higher and better use for them coming right up. I actually pre-made some purple and green gummy that we're gonna melt down and pour into these molds simultaneously to see if we can make ourselves some purple and green gummy zombie brains. How cool would that be? That'll be coming up in the next video. And of course, a big thanks to Andy Varcho for requesting a brain in a vacuum chamber. Go ahead and check your YouTube inbox. I'm sending you 25 bucks. Thanks for joining me for this experiment, guys. I'll be looking for you in the next project. Talk to you then. Oh, Grant's getting weirded out. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And remember, I'm giving away prizes now on every new video. All you have to do to qualify is subscribe to my channel, ring the bell, and select to be notified when my next videos get released. The secret link to my giveaways will be pinned in the comments for the first 12 hours. If you like what I'm doing, show your support right now by giving this video a big thumbs up and share with a friend. I love you back, and I'll see you next time.